So we like to look for the reparameterization invariance. This is also sometimes called as Ri. This is also sometimes called as diffeomorphism, where the function and its inverses they are differentiable. Okay, uh, continuously differentiable. So sometimes you also use the word diffeomorphism for Fourier correlation. We try to see what it is. Okay, so uh, let us make a slide. Tau goes to tau tau prime equal to tau minus tau minus chi of tau. Chi is infinite decimal. Okay, tau is chi is infinite decimal quantity. Okay, and so we write the fields x prime mu tau tau prime. as mu of tau and this is going to be x mu of uh, x prime mu uh, x prime mu of tau prime so is tau minus xi of tau and this is obviously equal to x mu of tau. Now I like to expand it. So I can have x prime mu of tau minus chi of tau times x dot mu of tau. Okay. Up to first order, I, I retain only up to first order in chi, then second order and higher order in chi square. So, and you can drop those terms, and this is eventually going to, to be equal to x mu of tau. So, uh, this guy minus that guy, x prime mu of tau minus x mu of tau, which I would uh, define as delta x mu of tau. This would be uh, let, me, let me put it here. This this minus this. So this is equal to I take it to other side chi of tau times x mu of tau and so this is fine and this I want to call as I'm calling it as delta x mu so let me record it here I have so this is one of the one of the transformations that I have delta Delta x mu is chi of tau x mu of tau. Okay, and we would like to have uh, a relation also also for delta e. That is what we would like to determine. So okay. Now, e, e prime of tau prime d tau prime, this has to be e of tau d of tau, e is a scalar, okay. So, this is this and or e of tau d tau is e prime tau prime d tau prime now tau prime is tau minus chi of tau 
I use it here. So this is E prime of tau minus chi times d tau prime d tau prime h d tau minus d over times d tau so <coughs> this is then equal to uh, this is e prime of tau minus chi i can i can write it as e prime of tau minus chi then tau of e of tau so this is my e prime of uh, this plus plus of course for the chi square into into these two quantities so d tau minus let me write chi dot chi dot times d tau and because chi is infinitesimal so chi dot would also be infinitesimal okay chi is an infinitesimal parameter is infinitesimal quantity so its time derivative would also be an infinitesimal quantity and because we will neglect the higher order terms in chi square we would also neglect a term of the type chi into chi dot okay because this is a product of two infinitesimal quantities all right fine so we do that and what we obtain here is E prime of d tau minus E prime into chi dot d tau. I have multiplied this with this and this, and then I multi then I take this term minus chi. This is E dot. Times d tau plus order of terms in chi square or chi into chi dot. We will neglect them all, and we will, so we will retain only this three terms. Okay, and <coughs> so we retain these three terms, and also here. Uh, E prime chi dot is uh, E E chi dot plus this is approximately as this uh, because they are equal. Up to they are equal up to second order in j square. These two terms are equal up to second order in j square. So we can write this as e prime tau d tau minus. Uh, these two quantities I could sum up into one as delta of j into e into d tau plus order j square and so uh, here I have e of tau. D of tau. Uh, I just consider the last equation here, and what I obtain is E of tau is E prime of tau minus delta tau of chi into E 
So I can write E prime of tau minus E of tau. This I take to be set xi of E. And this I redefine as delta E. So this is xi E. And therefore I write here then tau of xi e. So these are my uh, these are my uh, <laughs> equations that define the reparameterization invariance of my action. Checking if it is really invariant under this or not is more trivial. If you like, I would remove all this. Could I erase this, Sarah? Yes. Okay. So, Uh, verification of uh, of invariance of polyago action under reparameterization invariance. So you take the action 